Support continuing to pour in for senior officer Manuel Dominguez as he receives care at Spawn Shoreline. The community, his fellow officers, all keeping tabs on his condition tonight. Our Peter Vance is live at Spawn Shoreline with the latest on Officer Dominguez's condition and reactions from those closest to him. Peter. The family of Officer Dominguez has asked for privacy at this time, but I was able to go out to his neighborhood and learn what he meant to their community. Um, I've lived here since I was eight years old and he's always been here, so um, he's very friendly. People up and down the street agree that Dominguez was the kind of neighbor everyone wants around. Uh, he makes our neighborhood feel safe. He always makes us feel at ease, him just being here. Um, you know, communities now are just, it's scary, you know, with everything going on, but him being here just makes us feel safer. Dominguez was taken to Spawn Shoreline Hospital Wednesday afternoon after being shot several times by the alleged gunman, 20-year-old Joshua Powell. Support for the officer has been shown across the coastal bend. A few neighbors were sad to learn he was the officer who was shot. He bought popcorn from my son uh, uh, while uh, for, for scout fundraisers and things like that. And ju just a nice person, always ha has a kind word, always has time to say hi. And uh, a nice person and a nice family. And um, we wish him well and uh, send prayers his way. As far as his condition, Mayor Guajardo let us know that he is currently in the ICU at Spawn Shoreline. The hospital has not given us any updates at this time. He's got kids, he's got a beautiful wife, and I just wish him well and hope he recovers and yeah. wishing the family the best. Yeah. As we've said before, Officer Dominguez is in the ICU, and when we get more updates on his condition, you can find those on our website at ChrisTV.com. Reporting live at Spawn Shoreline Hospital, Peter Vance, Chris 6 News.